Hi everyone and welcome back. In the previous video, what we did is we integrated the OpenAI API into UiPath Studio using the HTTP request activity. And we were able to pass an argument in and get the response out. So what we're going to do now is we are going to publish this as a library so that we can use this as an activity in another process. Next, we want to export this. So you can either export it as a library or what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish it. I'm going to click this publish button. Okay. And under my publish options, I'm going to click this drop down and I'm going to click custom. Okay. And this custom URL is basically where we're going to be saving this library. So I'm going to click this folder and let's let's save it um, in this folder here select this folder okay so it's my users c drive users my name documents uipath okay so i'll just save it there um, and the name is going to be my chat gpt activity as you can see at the top there and i'll click publish so now this is going to create an activity which we can use in other workflows it's pretty cool so now this is going to be a reusable activity there you go um, successfully published and th there's the location cool i'll click ok now next steps is i'm going to um, i'm going to exit this i'm going to come to home and i'm going to click close and i'm going to create a new process i'm going to click process and i'm going to call this um let's call it facebook example and I'll click create so the next steps what we need to do now is we need to install that um, that library into this project so the same way we install things usually in studio we go to the package manager so I'm just gonna wait for this to finish loading there you go package manager and then we can go to settings and under source over here you want to click on um, these three dots here it is so this is what we want my chat gpt activity the nupkg file Control c and i'll come back here and i'll paste that in that name over there um, and then the folder path is actually just up to there and i'll click add Okay, so now we should have my chat GPT activity added. Oh, I think we still need to install it. So now we can search for chat GPT and click on my chat GPT activity, click install and click save. Okay, and now we can search for chat GPT and we can see here under my chat GPT activity, here is our main sequence, I drag that in. Okay, so here we have our imprompt and our out answer. So we can see that it has the default value over there. So we can set that to whatever we like. There you go. So we can change this prompt to something else like what is the meaning of life i'll press ok and then the answer we can create a variable Control k i'll call it answer and then we can use a message box just to test this out if it's working and we can output the answer i'm also just going to rename this main i'm going to call it chat gpt Cool, let's run this. Okay. 
There you go. The meaning of life is subjective and different for everyone. Many people find blah, blah, blah. Cool. I'll click stop. Um, we've also, we have a limit on, on the response there. So we can always, we can always change that by changing the, the properties um, of the input so that the output is longer if that's something you want. Um, but you do pay for larger responses. Okay. So we have that set up. Um, in the next video, we are going to be connecting this to our Excel file.